Hey guys, what's good? This is your girl, I'm the Bronze Goddess, and I'm back just really quickly uh, to just say a few more words about um, discovering your gifts. Um, there's a reason why I think that it's important. I feel like, like I said in my last video, I feel like we were all born with an assignment, and that is what you were created to do. I know a lot of times people get frustrated with that, so uh, if they haven't discovered their gift, it's, it's easy to get frustrated. I spent years, several years, just kind of like, I felt like I was restless. I was restless in my soul, restless in my spirit, because I knew that I was, I was here for something greater. And I just felt like I wasn't born to just pay bills. That wasn't I wasn't born to just have a job. I felt like there was so much more to me than just going to work and coming home and going to work and coming home. I knew there was more. And I just kept asking God, like, what is it? I, this can't be it. Like, this can't be. I can't just be born to pay bills. Um, and so I understand how people feel about that. So there will be a video in which will include question uh, questionnaire type thing, which will help you to kind of Hopefully it will steer you in the right direction. So uh, be on the lookout for that video. Where it's it's going to help you even more to identify what your gift is. So if you haven't discovered it, be patient, okay? The video is coming, I promise. Um, but I was listening to um, Will Smith recently, and he was saying that there's no need for a plan B. He said that plan B, having a plan B, he believes that it distracts from plan A. And I think that that happens so many times because people are, people have so much confidence in their intellect and so much confidence in their knowledge that they don't have confidence. It's just the faith issue. Faith versus intellect butts heads oftentimes because it doesn't make sense for people. It doesn't make sense that I went to school for this, but yet I'm baking cupcakes and I'm loving it. It doesn't make sense that I've never went to school for hair, but I'm really, really good at it. And I think I can get my own salon. Like, just some of the sometimes what you feel in your heart doesn't make any sense and you and you question it that is why you don't question it and and you and you don't want to feel like you are in some kind of perpetual state of a fairy tale or something and you don't want to feel like you're not being smart about it and you feel like your hopes and your dreams are ridiculous I have no training in that how can I be this? How can I do this thing and I have absolutely no training? I went to I went to medical school. What do you mean I want to teach kids? What do you mean I want to I want to be a dog walker? I have a a six figure job. What do you mean I want to help the homeless? And I think that the problem is is that people just they question it so much. But I believe what Will Smith says, having a plan B distracts from plan from plan A. If that's what you feel that you want to do, I feel like you should pursue it. We were here for a reason far greater than just paying bills. I remember listening to Keenan Irene Wayans recently, and he was saying that he was in school. He was um, getting ready to finish college, and he wanted to drop out of college to um, start doing movies and writing scripts and, and getting into television. And he went to his dad and he told his dad, you know, I'm really serious about wanting to do, getting into television. And his dad said, well, I want you to finish school first. And he said, he told his dad that he didn't want to. His dad told him, you finish school and you have something to fall back on. And he said, I feel like if I had that to fall back on, I won't work as hard. But if I have nothing, if I, if, I, if I fall and there's no safety net, it's going to make me push even harder. I know for some of you that doesn't make any sense, but for those of you who, who you do get it, um, that's all I'm trying to say. You know, I went to culinary school because I wanted a very doable profession. I wanted to be successful in a very doable way. Doing what I'm doing right now, I don't see how it's going to make any money. Honestly, I don't. From, from where I am right now, I don't see... But... I know that if this is my gift and if this is God's vision, he'll make provision and provisions will follow me in, in fulfilling my gift in walking in my gift. I know that money will come that I don't have to chase money. You don't have to chase money. If you're doing what God created you to do, he will make it easier for you. How can this not work? If it's God, how can it not work? If it's God. I just wanted to say that for you guys just really quickly because so many times, and it, it, also, it trips me out how, how people can be, to say that you are a believer and have no faith. That's an oxymoron. How can you believe and still have no faith? Isn't that the core of being a believer? To have faith? A Christian with no
know faith is an oxymoron. You believe in a God that you haven't seen, but you can't believe he'll do this thing for you. You can't believe that he will help you with this thing. You can't believe that if you pray, oh, this is too big, this is too crazy, I just, oh, this is just insane. I can't do that. No, no. How is that? How can you believe with one hand and doubt with the other? You see what I'm saying? It's okay to hope. Hope is not a bad word. As a matter of fact, hope is, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And the evidence of things not seen. It's okay to hope. It's okay to dream. Pursuing your dream is not crazy. It, and, and, and walking in your purpose is not crazy. It's what you were created to do. To, for real. Honestly. Do you really think that God created you, whatever your name is, fill in the blank. Whatever your name is, Tasha, Tanya, Rebecca, Simone, whatever your name is. You think God really went out of his way to create you for you to have this job and go home. They say that the average man, I think they said that he makes, the average man makes anywhere between 400 to 300 million sperm. Now, if a couple is trying to have a baby, they have a 25% chance of, of getting pregnant. If you aren't trying to get pregnant, there's the, the percentages drop down to 11%. So from 30 to 40, I'm sorry, from 40,000, from 40 million, I'm sorry, 40 million sperm to 300 million sperm, 25% or 11% chance, yet you're here. You, God picked you. So he went all these millions of people you beat out before you even got here. Before you even were born. You beat out all these people just to get here. And all God created you to do is to work at this company. Really? The creator of heaven and earth. Him. You think all he wanted you to do was have this nice job. And drive this nice car and live in this nice home. So for those of you out there who, who think this whole talk, this is crazy. I don't, I, don't need, I don't need that. I'm very successful. Okay. I, I don't want I don't want to, I'm not trying to rock your boat, okay? If that's what you feel, then that's what you feel. But I think it's crazy to believe that the creator of heaven and earth only created you for this purpose, for what you're doing right now, to, to let that be it, for you to punch a clock. I'm not saying everybody was designed to change the world, but why can't you change your little corner of it? Why can't you affect this little corner of it? You don't got to be a millionaire to do that. You don't got to be a millionaire to affect lives, to help people. That's what I believe. I believe it with every core, every fiber of my being from the core of who I am. That's what I believe. That God created everyone for a purpose. Like I said in my last video, don't die with all this still in you. Die empty, haven't given it all you have. But anyway, I want to say that really quickly for those of you out there who think, I already made it, I don't need that. If you think that's all God created you to do, then I, I don't, I'm not even going to try to change your mind. But if you're, if you're on the fence about it, though, if you feel that, there, that you, you feel this magnetic kind of pull, pulling you towards something, and you're like, man, this just ain't it. I, I should be happy with this six-figure job. What's wrong? I should be happy with this good man and these great kids. I, this should be enough, but I, something is still missing. This just isn't it. This can't be it. This can't be it. If that's you, I'm telling you what it, what's missing is you walking in your gift. Everything ain't about money. It's about that feeling of completeness. I feel in my heart you will never you will never experience and never feel true fulfillment until you are walking in that gift. There is nothing to me, walking in that gift is like the warmest hug. I feel like I I feel I see where I fall into place. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I love you guys more than you will ever know. And I think that I just want you to do and to be all that you can be. I want you to give this life the best that you can give it. I want you to experience that feeling of fulfillment. I want you to feel what it feels like to be absolutely whole and feel like, ha, ah, this is my place in the universe. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you soon. Till next time.